can't even lie, this is the type of shit that I love to see. And I get a lot of messages like this. And, you know, I'm, although I'm not doing what I do and sharing my life with everybody because I'm looking for, you know, comments like this or reactions like this, I'm not necessarily trying to influence anybody or persuade anybody or anything. You know, I'm just doing what I've always done. You know, when I used to eat the rotten flesh off of corpses, when I used to eat the toxic and addictive chemicals, all the processed garbage, all the man-made garbage, I used to share that shit just the same as I share fruit now. You know, when I was smoking weed, I used to share that shit the same as I share what I share now. You know, I would share, I would share pictures of the weed and Ooh, look how pretty it is and share pictures of me smoking and having it up to my lips and all of that. I'm not doing anything different. And just as when I was sharing back then, I wasn't trying to influence nobody to smoke weed or influence anybody to eat like me as I'm not trying to do it now. You know, it's just now I, you know, I really find it very interesting how there are so many people that aspire to eat like me, to eat just fruit. Like that's really surprising to me. It's like people just innately know that this is what they should be doing and this is our natural path and this is the way of life. And they see me do it and they wanna do it too. And they try to do it and some of them are doing it. And it's just really dope when I get comments like this. like. Although, like, I'm not doing what I do for that reason, shit feel good when somebody DMs me or leaves a comment like this on a post. And nobody ever made comments like that towards me when I was posting pictures of smoking weed, posting pictures of the weed, or posting pictures of me at a restaurant with a plate full of toxic, unhealthy bullshit, or when I was sipping on drinks at the bar, or none of that. Nobody ever said anything like, you make me want to smoke some weed too, or you make me want to have a drink too, or you make me want to eat unhealthy too. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people be like, bro, I want to do that too. And it's just really dope. It's like, I feel like they're like I was in a way because when I started on this journey, when I first heard about eating fruit, you know, Mentally, I'm like, man, that's crazy. But somewhere inside of me, I was intrigued and I wanted to hear more. And so I had this conflict going on between what, what I was hearing here and what I was feeling here. And I ended up going with what I was feeling here because I just knew. Like, I didn't understand it, but I knew that was the way. Just like a lot of people that send me messages like this, they just know it's the way. I was talking to somebody on, I don't know, one of these platforms in a private message, and he was telling me that, you know, he was eating animals and eating the way he was eating, and he feel great, but he want to eat all fruit. And I was like, well, why? Like, if you feel great right now the way you eat, why do you want to eat fruit? And he was like, basically, he was like, I don't know. I just do. Like, I see you, and I just do. I just feel like I should. And I was like, that's, that's how I was. I didn't know why I should eat fruit. I didn't know what this pull was in me towards fruit. It was like I was just being drawn to it. I didn't know why. You know, it was like, I had never eaten fruit. And like, this shit was just all brand new to me. But I couldn't deny that pull. And so I let it pull. And I followed it. Now, I know why. To a degree. Like, it, this is really, really deep. You know what I'm saying? When I made the connection between living in paradise and eating just fruit and living in this hell that we live in now and eating animals, like that blew my mind right there. You know, when we lived in paradise, we only ate fruit. 
And then we wanted to know good and evil. We wanted to experience good and evil. So we ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil so we could experience and know good and evil on a personal and intimate level. And so now we have good and evil and now we know good and evil. And now, like shit, most people don't even eat fruit. You know, now most people eat the rotting and decaying flesh of dead bodies. That's a part of the evil that we experience after wanting to know good and evil. After wanting the knowledge of not just good, but evil. Making that connection, that shit just blew my mind. Like, whoa. And the thing is, like, this journey is so deep. Like, I, I don't know it all. Like, I just get little pieces. That last piece, us wanting to have the knowledge of good and evil. So we ate from that tree. That was just recently revealed to me. So you just get it in little pieces, a little bit at a time. As you continue on the journey, you get a little bit at a time. I have enough at this point where I realize to some degree how deep this journey is. This journey is so much bigger than fruit. And it's like people just innately know there's something to this. I don't know what it is, but there's a lot of people just being drawn, being pulled in this direction. And I just think it's dope, especially as being one that's in the forefront of this movement. Like that's what this has become. This has become a movement. And I feel like this is gonna be really big. Just wait and see. I don't wanna say too much.